Salesforce.com is an innovator. They provide software as a service. In fact, are the world leader in on-demand CRM services that are both customizable and extensible. I'd like to bring up Chuck Dietrich to talk you through their experiences with the SDK. Chuck. Thanks a lot, Scott. Thank you. First, I want to thank Apple for inviting us. And I also want to say how excited we are to take software as a service to the iPhone and bring our over 63,000 platform applications to the iPhone. This SDK is really powerful. The iPhone has a lot of unique capabilities. And our customers are going to love using our applications on the iPhone. To show you this, what we did is we took an SFA application, Salesforce Automation application. Now, many of our million subscribers use this to manage the contacts, accounts, leads, who they're selling and what they're selling. And with the iPhone, you can imagine them in a taxi cab, taking out their device and getting a picture of their business day. They've got their activities for the day. They can swipe into those. They can use the touch screen to navigate the activities, see what are the details. Sales reps would love, in fact, to use the rich graphics to get a graphical view on where they're at against their monthly sales goals. They'd like if we could use the accelerometer to shake them into the green on deals. But <laughs> we're not, we're not going to do that for them. Not going to give them that functionality yet. But what we will give them is with the iPhone SDK, we'll tap into the really rich reporting and analytics platform of our force.com applications to give them really detailed graphic pictures on where they're at against each of their key business metrics. And you can see we're using the swipe screen to navigate this. And if people know how to use the iPhone, they're going to know how to use our applications on the iPhone. And since the SDK allows us to store the data on the device, connectivity is not an issue. If they're on the plane, no problem. Let's walk you through another example, opportunities. These are the deals that a sales rep is trying to close. Now, you can see it's in the standard table view that iPhone users are used to. They get a high level overview of each deal. They get a nice graphic view on where each deal's at from a stage perspective. But what's really interesting is the SDK allows us to repurpose the data from Salesforce on the iPhone. So as an example, maybe this sales rep wants to see what opportunities are most likely to close or of the greatest amount and wants to resort that data on the device so he knows exactly where he should focus his limited days on. With that, there you go. We've got the opportunities sorted by amount on the top, and the rep knows exactly where to focus. Now also, since the SDK can speak to the force.com API, we can use our advanced workflow triggers or Apex code to actually send more data down to the device when you're in wireless connectivity. In this example, three new leads just came in on the corporate website. He can get them on the iPhone. He can open those leads and start responding to them immediately. In this case, Bertha Boxer is a lead. And we can use the SDK to tap into the native functionality of the iPhone, like sending a phone call or an email. Or even more compelling, maybe we want to map where Bertha is relative to where I'm at. Maybe I can stop by and visit her. So we can do this using the mapping functionality. It's very cool stuff. What's really amazing is we only had one developer, Jason over here, <laughs> up here for less than two weeks. And he built all this. Now, we have over 70,000 developers developing on our force.com platform. They are going to love building the next generation of mobile applications on the iPhone. Thank you very much. <laughs>